Something I get asked quite a lot on this channel is how do I develop a style with my photography? And I never really know how to answer that question because there's not really one definitive end all be all path that everybody takes. I think figuring out what you wanna photograph is very much about experimenting with both your technical process and the subject matter of what's in your photos. I don't want this channel to be me trying to be educational about topics that I don't even fully understand yet myself, but what I can do is share my process as I make photos and as I learn things myself. Last week, I was down at the beach making photos for an ongoing project that I've been doing in New Jersey, and I think I made some of my best photos to this day there last week. I'm gonna talk through the day of making photos, why I think they're some of my best photos I've ever made, and what I learned from the experience going forward. The day started with us driving towards the shore, As we got closer to the shore, we decided to stop at a few motels as well to make some images. Some of these were abandoned, some of them weren't. Sick. Looking good. I particularly really like this one with the balance of red, green, and blue colors all in one frame. I think the colors work really well together and I think it's interesting how this frame got split into three by the three different colors that are in the photo. As we got towards the shore, we parked the car and headed out on foot with our cameras. I was with my friend Jimmy throughout the day. I love photographing with other people just because it's more motivational to get out and start taking photos when you're with somebody else. We just walked for hours, we looked for different houses, we looked for nice spots of light, different reflections in windows and just overall good colors. It was a Sunday down at the shore and everybody at the beach was in a really good mood. The sun was out and it was a really good atmosphere which just makes it that much easier to make nice photos. We turned down some side streets, we photographed some houses. At this point I was shooting on Fuji 400H on the Mamiya RZ67. This photo right here definitely stands out to me because there's a kid playing baseball in between the two houses. I feel like I'm looking at myself 10 years ago playing baseball in my own backyard. And on the left of the frame, I also really like the way that the window creates a reflection of another house. It almost looks like mosaic tile glass. We also came across this really nice pink house and I took two different angles of this. The first one has a little more context and the second shot is a slightly more abstract version, just more minimal framing but I like the geometry of this shot I like the shadow coming across the frame and again I like the reflections that happen in the windows of these suburban houses I think it's really interesting looking at this point in the trip I switched to Porsche 400 because I only brought three rolls of Fuji 400 H I think when this day of making photos got interesting was when the light started to set a little bit lower and we headed back to the car and I brought out the tripod. The first shot I set up with the tripod was at this ice cream shop because the sun started to set and the colors looked beautiful. At this point, I was super motivated to make photos. Usually I would be a little bit intimidated at least walking up to a big crowd of people like this with a tripod. But at this point, I was so intrigued by the colors of this spot that I just went for it and these long exposures were about eight seconds long and I think they look really cool the colors are lovely between the very blue post sunset sky and the colors of that neon ice cream parlor I think it just makes a nice photo I also turned my camera just to the right and ended up with this frame I wish there weren't car trails in it 
different, but I do like the colors as well. Super inspired recently by Joel Meyerowitz's Blue Hour series. I started photographing the time just after sunset because it has such beautiful dynamic lighting that just works really well for photos. When you start doing long exposures, the camera or the film itself sees more than our eyes can see. And you can see this in the difference between how bright the video footage is and how bright the photos are. It makes the photos look surreal because it looks like daylight, but in reality, it's a light that our eyes doesn't fully see, which I think is super interesting. We turned the corner and there was an amazing, cute little blue house with a nice purple car parked in front of it. This really caught my eye and I started taking photos of this with the tripod. I took a ton of photos of this place and I think my favorite one is the tight shot with just the rear of the car. I love the color contrasts of the window and the way that the light from the window reflects off of the rear of the car. I also think that putting a vintage or an old car in a photo makes it about that car as opposed to anything else in the frame. And that's not really what I wanted, which is why I like the one with the rear of the car more because it's just a subtle accent to the photo rather than one of the photos where the car is the main focus. I really wanted it to be about those windows because of the color. I continued to photograph around this area with the little film that I had left and I took this photo right here. I titled the video what it's called because I think this is my favorite photo I've ever made. There's a lot of things that I like about this photo I love how layered it is. I love the windows on the side. Again, the way that they have their own reflections and I like the glowing windows in the distance, the car, there's just a lot to look at in this photo and I think it also just feels very peaceful. I think that feeling has a lot to do with the blue hour and the fact that it's just after sunset. I took a second angle slightly closer, which I think also works really nicely. I know there's a lot of technical questions people are probably asking at this point as well. These photos were shot around f8 at eight seconds i didn't have a cable release on me at this point because i left it in the car but i just set my mamiya to eight seconds which is the longest setting that it has built into it and that worked just fine there were a couple more nighttime shots as well which you can see here As we were driving back to my place, we noticed this car wash and we decided to get out and try and photograph it because of the light. Now at this point, I wasn't actually planning on photographing it because I was out of any portrait or Fuji film, but I noticed some nice scenes back there and I took out the only film which I had left, which was Cine Still 50D. Probably the least ideal film for nighttime photography because of the low ISO that it has. And because of that, my exposures ended up being crazy long. They were like four minutes long long and camera ended up shaking in a lot of shots which I expected when I loaded the 50D. I did get this shot out of it right here which I'm really happy with. Again I think it's interesting how in real life where I see like grays and blacks and brown colors but when you expose a sheet of film to enough light it becomes almost like a painting of blue and red and green colors. And it's really interesting that the film sees more than our eyes. Early on with this project that I was shooting in New Jersey, I think I was trying to think too conceptually about what I wanted to make, what I wanted the photos to mean. And what I realized from this day of shooting in New Jersey was that just having an open mind, being open to new ways of composing and just surrounding myself with a new environment was really healthy for making some new work. I think it was super refreshing. And it was also just the most fun that I've had making photos in a long time. If you wanna hear more about these photos, make sure to subscribe to my friend Matt Day here on YouTube. We recently filmed an episode of his called The Photo Breakdown in which we talked about some of the work that I've been making in New Jersey, which is really cool and that'll be out soon on his channel, so make sure you look out for that. I gotta give a big thank you to my homie Jimmy for helping me film this video and letting me borrow some film when I was out, so make sure you check him out on Instagram. I hope this video wasn't too clickbaity for you all. I hope it did it justice, but let me know what you thought of the photos down below. I try to respond to most of the comments on YouTube here. You can hit me up on Instagram if you have any questions and hit me with any video recommendations you have. Do you feel like you wanna hear more technical things about nighttime photography, more beginner videos, whatever it might be, drop it down below. I'm curious to hear it. That's it for now. Peace.